Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a long-awaited video that might not be long-awaited for some people, but for other people it will be. I am finally doing my Invisalign update or my Clear Correct update. I always just call it Invisalign because we all know it as Invisalign. They're clear braces, but I do have the brand Clear Correct. A lot of people have been DMing me on Instagram and they all want to know how it's going, do I like it, do I not like it, what are the pros, what are the cons, and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. I'm also going to give you a few stories and stuff that's happened, and I'm going to show you how my teeth have progressed and all that type of stuff. So, first of all, I'm not quite halfway through, well, I'm a little bit over halfway through. I'm on tray 10 out of 15. I'm halfway through 10, so I have one more week, which we love that. We're almost done. I'll put pictures on the screen of what my teeth looked like before, but right now this is what they're looking like. So we're halfway through and I still hate them, <laughs> if I'm being honest, and I don't know if it's going to change or not. Uh, I'm just being honest here. First of all, we just started working on my top teeth about a couple weeks ago, or like the past two trays have been my top teeth. But we worked on my bottom teeth first, and they're done now. And I love my bottom teeth. They're super straight, as you can see. Except this might just be me being overcritical of myself, but I feel like these two teeth are uneven. One's more forward than the other. It could just be me, but I don't know. I just wish they were, you know, very straight because I really just like the straight across look with my teeth. But anyways, I'm almost completely 100% happy with my bottom teeth. But the top teeth are just the worst things ever. And it sucks because when I smile, you can't even see my bottom teeth. So you can't even see how beautiful they are. But um, this is what my top teeth are looking like now. So what I don't like about them is these two teeth. I want them to come down and be in line with the rest of them. But they're just like high up. And then this one is like... You can't really tell, but this one right here is a really crooked right now because she moved, or my dentist moved it. Oh, it's like basically on top of my front tooth. We're going to fix that in the last two trays, but I hope that it looks good by the end. So yeah, as of right now, I'm a little bit concerned because I want it to look nice and right now I'm not loving it. So I've been researching some things and... If it doesn't turn out the way that I want it by the end, I'm gonna talk to my dentist and see what we can do. If they can't move them anymore, I think I'm going to be getting some bonding. They're like, it's called composite bonding and basically what it does is it just makes your teeth look a lot more full and that would make me a lot happier with the outcome. So that's the difference in them right now. I still have about two and a half more months to go so we'll see and i'll do like an ending video of how like the before and after once i get all my work done and stuff like that because i'm pretty sure they might like shave the bottom one so that they're online and stuff like that we're gonna figure it out and it's gonna look perfect another thing that might be kind of playing with my brain is the fact that they're kind of yellow and you would think that they would be whiter since i have to brush my teeth so much since you're keeping your teeth dry by keeping them in the retainers they're gonna be a little bit yellow and so if i get them whitened afterwards hopefully it will look a little bit better as well since i last talked to you in my first video, I hadn't had my buttons put on my teeth yet. And what buttons are, if you don't know, is just little things that help your teeth move a little bit more quickly. And they click onto the retainers, so I'll show them to you. I hope you can see them, but I have them on like five or six of my teeth. And those, when they put them on, it felt really weird at first. Like I could feel something was on my teeth. They don't hurt though, but now I can't even tell that they're there. Like the only way that I can tell that they're there is if I like put my tongue on my teeth or something like that. So that's good. And they're, they kind of just act like brackets of your braces just to make the aligners tighten onto your teeth better to move it a little bit quicker. And as for the pain, it only hurts for the first couple days when you put in a new tray and that's it and honestly i've gotten kind of used to it it still doesn't feel great but it's just like you kind of got to deal with it because it's kind of like a good feel like it's a good pain because you know that your teeth are changing if they're because they wouldn't be changing if if you weren't in pain you know so here's my box i don't know if anyone cares because but i have saved all of my aligners because my dentist told me to 
so I have all 10 of them and so honestly I could show you the comparison through this if you want to see it sorry if this is gross but you clicked onto this video and we're talking about teeth so here are my first trays this is the bottom one okay you can kind of see how these teeth these aren't very straight that was my first one and now this is what my teeth look like now see how much straighter that is now they're all in alignment and I love them. And then I'm not even going to show you the top ones because there's no difference. There's a little bit of a difference, but it just got worse. So we don't need to talk about that. But now I'm going to get into the pros and cons of why I like it and why I don't like it so that I can give you some helpful information. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the cons and then go into the pros so we end on a good note. One of the cons is that you literally have to brush your teeth after you eat anything and it's really irritating because if you're out it's so hard to brush your teeth especially with the coronavirus happening because not a lot of bathrooms are open and it's kind of gross to brush your teeth in a random public bathroom but also on the other hand it's kind of a positive because i don't really go anywhere because of covid because i'm a respectful human being and so i'm always home to brush my teeth but it's just like you have to brush your t teeth three to four times a day and it just gets really like you just get lazy about it and i went i think i was on like my third and fourth and i kind of got lazy about brushing them so i would just pop them back in and my dentist could tell 100 percent. she's like you're forming cavities on your bottom teeth you have to keep you have to clean them really well and otherwise it could get bad so make sure to brush your teeth so now i just brush them but it's really that's just one of the cons it's just very annoying having to do that every single time brushing and flossing because you have to do both the second con is that it's hard to wear them for 22 hours because you don't realize how long it takes you to eat sometimes you don't have time to brush your teeth for example me i have a 20 minute break between my first and second period which i only have two periods a day and that doesn't give me enough time to like eat breakfast or a snack and then brush my teeth. Sometimes I have to join my Zoom call in my class and then brush it after the class, which is two hours. So that's already 22 hours that I'm not, that I have been wearing them and then I need to eat lunch and dinner so it's like I'm only wearing them for like 20 hours a day if that happens sometimes that's bad but it hasn't seemed to hinder my results yet I hope it doesn't do that because I don't know what else to do like I can't just pop them back in without brushing my teeth because then I'll get cavities so that's just kind of annoying um another thing is that you can lose them so easily so please if you have Invisalign please put them in your case when you're eating I was on FaceTime with my my friends eating breakfast and I placed my Invisalign on my stairs my stairs and because I was just like mindlessly like I was about to go upstairs but I forgot something so I just put them on my stairs and I couldn't find them for nine hours and I had to call my dentist and make an appointment for the next day so I could get my next set because I thought I lost them then my sister walked down the stairs stepped on them and that's how we found out that I didn't actually lose them and I just put them on my stairs so don't be like me and make sure you know where they are at all times and don't lose them because I've lost them probably about like five times and it's so scary each time and I still don't learn from my mistakes but Make sure that you don't lose them. And the last con is that you really need self-discipline because it's gonna be a waste of money if you're not following the rules. If you're paying $6,000 to straighten your teeth and you're just gonna leave them random places, if you're not gonna brush your teeth before you put them back in or you're just not gonna wear them for the suggested amount of time, it's just there's no point. So you have to discipline yourself because your dentist can't be in your house 24 7 telling you to brush your teeth and telling you to put your trays back in so it's all really about you and how much you want it so that's all the cons that i have but i'm gonna move into the pros which the pros definitely outweigh the cons my first pro is that you can eat anything that you want i've never had braces before but when people have braces you usually can't eat that much stuff because it gets stuck in your braces and then you have to pick it out and that's gross so you just usually don't eat it stuff like popcorn corn anything sticky any kind of candy gum you can't eat any of that stuff with invisalign you can eat whatever you want you just have to brush your teeth afterwards so it's like which one 
is better which one's worse another pro which is the biggest pro of all of them is that you can't see them sometimes i'm like i wish i just had braces so i don't have to brush my teeth so often because it's so annoying but then i'm like no girl you do not want braces like i'm so grateful that i was able to afford this because i love no that nobody can nobody can tell like unless i tell them no even when i tell them like my mom can't even Sometimes she forgets. She's like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know that you had those in. They're relatively comfortable. I'm assuming that they would be more comfortable than braces because it's plastic in your mouth instead of metal. And a lot of people say that they're more comfortable, so that is also a pro. Another one is that you can remove them whenever you want if you really have to with braces if when they tighten them and then you're in pain you can't just like get rid of the pain you have to sit and deal with it but with invisalign if it's hurting you really really bad you can always take it out for five or ten minutes just so you get a break and then go back so that's a really good thing because sometimes it's so hard for me to focus in school because it's hurting so bad when i put a new tray in and so i just take them out for a little bit and then it feels so much better but with braces you would not be able to do that which sucks so i'm sorry if you have braces that's basically all of my pros as well um another thing i wanted to mention is that in my first video i mentioned that i was not going to be able to drink coffee anymore and that's actually a big fat lie because look at what i got right here coffee i still drink coffee because i can't go without coffee actually i can but like i still drink it because it tastes good so yeah that wasn't really a problem for me i thought that was gonna be a huge problem i wasn't gonna have coffee for a really long time but mm, i still drink it so it's okay that's kind of where i'm at for my invisalign or my clear correct journey it's been a long one it actually has gone by really fast but i can't wait for it to be over honestly and i can't wait till my teeth are just beautiful that I, that's gonna take a little while I'm definitely going to update at the end, so stay tuned for that and be on the lookout for that. It's going to probably come around February or March. It may take longer if I have to get more trays. It depends. We'll see. If you have any other questions, I would be happy to answer them. You can either comment on this video or you can DM me on Instagram. A lot of people have been DMing me and I've happily answered them. If you need anything, I'm here. I'm staying home, so I got a lot of time i hope this was very helpful for you and i hope that you have a great experience with your clear correct or invisalign thank you so much for watching and again i hope you found this helpful if you like this video don't forget to like it and comment down below if you have any questions or anything you want me to know and don't forget to subscribe because it helps me out a lot and i will see you guys all again in my next video